Hello everyone, thank you once again for tuning into our YouTube channel, Save Green Here. And I was thinking about something with regards to the situation we're in right now. We're in the middle of a pandemic, and who knows, maybe years down the road, it won't be a pandemic, but it could be someone with a severe cold or severe flu, and you're trying to stop the spread, right? You're trying to stop the spread of this disease, and maybe someone in your home has been has recently gotten the the COVID-19 or maybe years later this could be another pandemic or another flu or whatever so most homes have central air conditioning and what I'm going to show you here is something that you can do and it's pretty much what a friend of ours what we did for a friend of ours whose uh, parents both had the, the uh, COVID-19 and we were able to help them out. So let's say in this situation, and I do apologize for my poor artwork, we have an HVAC system in a closet and these wavy lines here would be the louvered doors. So the way it's, it's occurring right now, and I'm going to use, uh, we're in the summertime right now, so I'm assuming the uh, return air is warmer and the supplying air is cooler so the red will be the return air so the air goes through these louver doors from everywhere from the bedrooms into the unit the unit then cycles the air takes that warm air and then it blows it via your attic or crawl space if it's underneath to all these rooms I'm going to use the blue to represent the cold air blowing into these rooms. One thing that happens is you need to isolate any family member or anyone in your household that has COVID-19 or the flu or any infectious disease that can easily spread. So one way to do this, because it's already been proven that it can be spread out through the ventilation system, is you don't want to move the air around from the rooms that you're isolating such people, whether it's a family member or someone in the household. So let me see if I can uh, erase this real quick. Okay. So we got those arrows out of the way. So what you want to do is you want to create a wall from, let's say you're going to isolate the person in this room, right? And in this room so what you want to do is you want to make sure that if they're going to be here and here that obviously closing these doors is not going to solve the issue because they're eventually going to need to go to the bathroom and back to their rooms what you want to do is you want to create a barrier and I'll show you what I mean by that right here kind of like an imaginary wall right there why because as you're blowing air into these rooms remember how I showed you before that air needs to go back to the unit so by creating a wall here the air that's going in those rooms that's blowing into those rooms is not going to go back to the unit now this is in a particular situation where you have your furnace or air handler in a hallway okay so this right here would be your hallway and it's just a freestanding unit so it's standing in a vertical position kind of like your refrigerator inside a closet and the return is through a wall or through your louver doors so what you do is you put a piece of plastic here from floor to ceiling tape it around the walls Tape it to the ceiling, tape it to the tile or the floor or the carpet, however you can do it. You just want to make sure that you stop any air from these rooms to from going back to the unit. Another thing you want to do is on the windows, okay, let's say you have windows, maybe one or two windows on these bedrooms, is you want to crack it crack the windows about 
one eighth to a quarter of an inch. That's it. Of course, we're hoping you have screens. But what that's going to do is all the air that's pushing, because you're still blowing air into these rooms, okay? So let's assume there's a little vent here and another one here and another one, a small vent in the bathroom. The ducts that are connected in the attic or in your crawl space to these vents that's supplying cold air into the rooms, it's not going to go back to the unit because you created a barrier here. But what you want to do is you want to have some of that air which is going to create kind of like a balloon effect in these rooms because you're uh, applying positive pressure into these rooms. You need to let that air out. So crack these windows about one eighth of an inch to a quarter of an inch and that's going to force the air that can't make it back to the unit because it's crashing into this wall so to speak. You're going to allow, make that air go out. You're pretty much creating a fresh air situation in these rooms. Additionally, if your bathroom has a window, you can do that there. But if it doesn't, if it has an exhaust fan that's exhausting air to the outside, you want to keep that fan on 24-7. So that fan would have to be on 24 hours, seven days a week, as long as there's people that are being in these rooms and you want to isolate them from the rest of the family or household members so you don't spread the disease, whether it's COVID or the flu or whatnot. So this is one situation here when it's a freestanding air conditioning unit in a closet, et cetera, et cetera. I know that it got a little bit messy with my artwork. And like I said, I do apologize for that because I am not uh, an expert when it comes to artwork. I'm not an architect or anything like that. I do have a little bit of background on HVAC ventilation systems, so I'm just trying to give you a visual on how that works. I'm going to try to put a picture here so you can see what this barrier looks like because the family that we helped out with this idea, no one else in the family got sick, including elderly that were living on other parts of the house they never got sick and they were elderly and they were very concerned and they never got sick. Basically what you're doing is you're pushing the virus out the house because it's not coming back, it's running into this wall. But in some situations you might have an air handler sitting in a garage somewhere, okay? The R would be the return, the S would be the supply. And basically what in this situation you have in each bedroom, you have a return grill. That's what the red would be. We're assuming we're in the summertime, so the return air is warm and the supply air is cool. So it would look something like this. And again, I apologize for my poor artwork. This is taking air from these rooms into the machine, pushing it through the machine and then your air conditioning system is now supplying cold air, and that's what the blue is for, supplying cold air into all these rooms, including other rooms in the house. Okay, we're assuming there's a bedroom, a kitchen, whatever. And then all these rooms would also have returns on them. In this situation, what you want to do is from, the, from your ceiling, or if it's on the floor, is you want to take you want to take all these returns and you want to completely block them off let's say we're isolating the two rooms that we use as the isolation rooms we want to make sure we get good tape whether it's duct tape or whatever and you want to tape off these returns you don't, want to, you don't want to tape your supplies off. You, you still want to supply air into these rooms, but you want to block these returns. Why? Look what it's doing, guys. It's taking air back into the machine. That could be contaminated air from this room and from this room. These would be taking contaminated air into the machine, pushing it through, and then supplying it to the rest of the family. 
So in this situation, if your air conditioning system is like this, where it sits in a basement or an attic and there are multiple return grills, let's say there's a return grill in every bedroom in the house and you're isolating, you still want to make this wall here. And again, I'm going to try to upload a or show a picture while I'm showing this video. Maybe I'll show a picture on this side of the video of what it looks like because they sent us a picture. They actually did a really good job. But you want to make sure that everyone in this room, you know, on this side of the house, this we'll call this the isolation area of the house, is actually doing that, being isolated from the rest of the family as far as the air goes. If you don't do this, you're easily spreading the disease or the pandemic inside your household. People are wrong these days. They think that closing the door and closing the door and closing the door, okay, every all is good, all is well and good. Well, you're wrong because as long as this unit here is running, you are moving air all over your house, people. <laughs> and look at this. It looks like a mess right now, but I'm trying to... Uh, drive the point home so additionally you want to get a good filter with a MERV 13 rating on the description below on this video I'm going to put a link where you can get your MERV 13 rated filters and they have to be pleated okay so it has to be a pleated filter and they're gonna look like this pleated filters look like a wave Again, maybe I can have a picture show up somewhere here of a pleated filter so you know what it looks like. Normally, these are one inch thick, but you want to look at inside your machine and see what size filter you have. Take the one that's in there out, measure it, or look at the numbers on the side of the filter inside your machine. Or if it's like standing in a closet like this, just pull it out and look at the size and then just order them. Order them because they're starting to get extremely expensive because people know that this is something that's in demand, just like hand sanitizer, just like uh, toilet paper, and just like everything that's in high demand has gone up in price. Alcohol has gone up in price. Rubbing alcohol. Latex gloves have gone up. So get yourself a good amount of pleated filters. Make sure they're MERV 13 or higher. If you're watching this video and you have any questions, Please do not be shy to ask. We're here to help. Again, I do have a background in HVAC ventilation systems, so I would be more than happy to provide any answers to your questions. Just let me know in the comments below. And if you feel that this video was helpful to you, even though my artwork was horrible, please give me a thumbs up. And we also appreciate it if you subscribe to our channel. And thank you very much for watching. Everyone, please be safe and take care of yourselves. Take care of your health. Take care of the health of your family. You all have a great day.